So I now we was talking about the whole light skin experience and all that kind of stuff, but I want to delve into like what's for for people out there who don't know, um, because a lot of people don't really talk about this aspect. Like what what was it like for you? How how did you? What's like different? You think about the light skinned experience of having like a, a a white mom and a black dad? What you noticed that was different about you experience when, when you maybe when you was with your mom versus when you was with your dad what did you saw that maybe people who is maybe just all white or all black maybe would not have a bird's eye view to to see? Oh, man you know to be honest you know we live in the, we lived in the south uh a pretty good bit so you mm. know i don't think you know you know man you know black people they, they're used to it man they, they know that the black man's kryptonite is white woman so You know, so they, they, they already know, they're used to it. Uh, but when we walk around with my mom, you know, people would like look at us weird or, you know, stare a little bit longer because, you know, you know, who's this white woman with these, you know, I got, you know, five brothers and sisters. So. Oh, for you? I didn't yeah, know that. So, you know, you, you, oh, you, wow, see, okay. you see this white woman walking around with these four black boys, with these four black guys. Yeah. Like, What's going on over here? You know, so. Did they ever, like, ask you, uh, ask her if she's okay? Or no, I ain't never asked. But, you know, we'll be at school or whatever, and people will ask us, like, what are you? I'd be like, what? I'd be like, huh? Yeah. I'm human, you know? Aren't yeah. You? You know? Yeah, people people always want you to find out where, where, what's yeah. the deal. Yeah, they want to. So, and, yeah. you know, it, it took me a while to, to, like, understand what it is that they were talking about. Because, you know, that's what I was, you know, I was born into that white day, you know. So, military family, you know, there's a lot of, you know, biracial kids in the military just because you know people relocate to different parts of the world and you know start start experiencing the those foreign women and boom you know yeah can't get, those korean yeah. women and, and japanese and yeah white and german women and all that yeah, so I was, yeah. you know our family was used to it when we came back to the united states you know people were like what are you I'm like, huh? that's, that's uh, so you felt like Abroad, it was more kind of just a normal stuff, and then you come to America, and there's they they're trying to put you in the more of a yeah, box. you know, we I never thought about it. Yeah. And then you know, I got like I said, there's six of us, so you know, we weren't even allowed in the house. You know, our parents it was so loud. Our parents were like get out of the house. So you know, we really didn't watch a yeah. whole lot of TV or anything like that. So uh, we were just weren't ever exposed to it uh, like that. Uh, you know, racism and bigotry. Um, uh -huh. But the funny thing is, once I started getting good at football and showed promise in football, you know, the white girls who had never dated a black dude before or been with a black dude before, all of a sudden, it's okay uh, to be with this uh -huh. guy who's good at football, who just so happens to be, you know, black by race. Yeah. So, you know. Now, did you you did you uh, uh, avail yourself of them? Did you did you allow them to experience to to experience a new? Uh, oh, man, that's the full advantage of that shit. Please believe it. Oh yeah. God, I, so you didn't have any problem with that. I, mean, I didn't care, sir. I mean, because you're a man of Christ, you you have love in your heart. I mean, and you didn't want it to I deny them. I was just them. young, dumb, and full of calm. That's all that was. Oh, so you did you wanted to yeah, share I that did, one? I did. I don't blame you, my brother. I do the same stuff, you know. Um, yeah, so I, I understand because I, you know, I have the same sim uh, similar situation because even though I ca came from another country, um, my um, my dad is black and and my mom is is uh, you know white lady, and uh, and there was there was always like a, it's a, a different experience because you know I remember um, he, you know well my mom told me stories shit like you know. People, like uh, women at, like, ask her, "What you? Who is like she's breastfeeding me?" And um and people say like, "Whose baby is that? Yeah, right? yeah, breastfeeding yeah. that baby? Like 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 as if she just grabbed a baby and started breast." And she's like, "What the fuck, <laughs> baby? You think that? <laughs> you know all the funny stuffs that happen that that people don't even think of. You know because all the shit that for someone like you and me is normal because you just grow up and you look your mommy, you think that's mommy. That's what mommy looks like." And then you look, dad, that's what a daddy looked like, you know? And then you start to realize after you get a little old, you say, oh, people, this, there's something different here that either people is, is, is fascinated by this 
or it's ups something about it is upset them. Yeah, you know? especially. Are you from? Where you, I came from Rio de Janeiro. Do you? I came from. You live Rio. in America now, right? Oh, I live in America now. Yeah. Uh, so in the south, it, it you know, it's really deal. It, real deal is an issue. You know, like now when you say it's an issue, what you, you mean know, by that? People just you know they they think it's weird. Like you know, even my my wife now. Uh, our son, he looks, you know, he looks black, you know, he, he, you know, and so they'll see him, they'll see him mm -hmm. walking around with her, and they'll treat her different. Uh, like, you uh, know, when she when she goes to like, I don't know, turn the power on, or you know, you know, shit like that, standing in line, people just like look at her funny and shit. What do you mean turn the fucking power on? What you what what you talking about? The to the house, you know. Oh, you're talking about God? Are you? Well, you're not paying mm -hmm. your bills. You they they cut they cut no, the lights off. No, we upgrading over here. We just. Uh, her and I just bought a house. Uh, yeah, oh, December okay. I'm sorry. I, I misunderstood. Yeah. I thought you said, now now take this $30 and you go down there and you get them to cut the lights back on. Nah, nah, nah. We, we ain't there, you know. We, we're not turning the power on in our kid's name or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tricks yeah, of the you trade. Know, you got to get it how uh -huh. you live. No. Oh, my brother, I know about that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I remember, you know, I, I remember um, it was a very different situation um, because I grew up in, like, Hill, which is, it's like, I, I grew up on, like, the, uh, you know, uptown in the Hill um, section. So it's, like, almost, like, near the Harlem section of uh, of Hill. And, um, you know, a lot of people was, there was definitely when you was with one parent versus the other, you could see the difference in how you was treated, you know? I don't know how it is now because, you know, God, I, I don't get to get back to uh, to the to the Harlem uh, or the, you know, the Manhattan area of, of Rio very often. But, um, you know, back in the day, if you wanted to get a, 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 a taxi cab, you know, um, they just straight up, it, it was near impossible. Not impossible, but it was very hard to get a cab, you know? That's crazy. So let's say... Let's say back in the day when I was a kid, like we didn't took a lot of cab, but sometimes maybe you're late and you don't have time to wait for a train or whatever. What we had to do if we wanted to get a cab was we had to put my mom out there on the street and then me and my dad would like hide behind a building. And then as soon as the, the guy stopped, immediately he stopped for my mom <laughs> and she opened the door and we would we would hunt into there. And then the guy would go, hey, what the fuck is going on here? And then we say, hey, listen, you don't like it. Take us to the cops, you know, take us to the precinct, you know. And the guy's like, you know, uh, say, ah, pff, you know, God, I, I got to check these fucking guys up here, you know. Um, so it was, you know, so when you're a kid, you, you start to realize, ah, okay, well, there's something about me and Pops that there's not quite as savory, uh, or it's leave something to be desired. Yeah, you know, you know, it is what it is, you know, it's just people's own ignorance, you know, the cool thing about it is you can choose to, to get away from those people or whatever, and it's just like a, uh, stores, like, you know, uh, we call it like a place of business. Uh, we don't have to. We don't ever have yeah. to go there no more. Uh, you know. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You you vote with your dollars. Yeah. You, you say, hey, listen, you're not gonna get my yeah. money no more. But man, you know, it's it, it's crazy. Like I live in Alabama now. And my son, uh, one of my sons, uh, the neighborhood we were living in, he was going to a like a 98 percent uh, white school. Like he was. He, oh, a private wanna, school. It's a public school. It, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. But it's just maybe not 98 percent, but it's for sure 95 percent uh, white kids. Okay. And so I was standing at the in front of the school with my wife, who's from Brazil, and uh, engraved on the school is uh, George Wallace's name, the former. Oh, and, uh, for him now. To go, man. You mean the one that didn't want it to segregate or who didn't want it to integrate? Yeah. So I, I was telling my wife, I was like, oh. like, man, I got kind of upset. And I was like, I don't understand why they do this shit. And she was like, what? Oh, and so I was God, explaining you. who George Wallace was. It wasn't the comedian? There was a nah, black comedian named George not. Wallace. Maybe that's nah, what they're talking about. not that. Not, not uh, oh, George. Okay. It is very appropriate that from this cradle of the Confederacy, this very heart of the great Anglo-Saxon Southland, that today we sound the drum for freedom, as have our generation of forebears before us done time and again down through history. Let us rise to the call of freedom-loving blood that is in us. 
and send our answer to the tyranny that clanks its chains upon the South in the name of the greatest people that have ever trod this earth. I draw the line in the dust and toss the gauntlet before the feet of tyranny, and I say segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. And then this white lady came up and she was like, Oh, he's not really racist, and you know, yeah, I was oh, like, you know, she she was like, I've had dinner with him, and he only did what he did because he thought that's what the people wanted. I was just like, man, uh, lady, get out of my face right now. Like, I almost spit on this lady. I was yeah. like, man, that makes him a bigger piece yeah. of shit that he did that. that yeah. If he if he thought it was wrong, but he did that because that's yeah. what you know the people of Alabama wanted. That makes him a bigger asshole yeah, for being in the place of power and not changing, you know. Being in a, be, be in a, a position point. to change things, but instead, you know, uh, I think it was Richard Nixon or Lyndon B. Johnson, one of them uh, had to call the National Guard and was like, no, you're going to let these kids go to school. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know. Yeah, well, we even in Brazil, we saw the, 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 the TV, we saw the broadcast of that, that's some uh, powerful yeah, stuff. Yeah, so I was just like, there's no way that you could persuade me or talk me into thinking that this was a good human man, this was a good guy. Yeah, that's a trip, you know, um, that they have that, you know, in L.A., we had uh, we have a school uh, down the street from me. And I shit you not. Uh, it's like a elementary school and the, the auditorium. Believe it or not, it's called my, it's, it says Michael Jackson Auditorium, because I guess I guess the kid uh, went there when he was a kid. And then uh, and he must have donated some money or whatever. But back in the day when he was having some some issue with um you know, maybe some question about some of that shit where he was giving some some kids maybe some Jesus yeah. or whatever. You know, then they they I remember because when I first moved to L.A. Uh, uh, shortly after they they put up like a, a board with uh -huh. his name on there, so it just said auditorium, didn't say Michael Jacks. But then after he died, they they put the shit back up. So I guess I guess he's all good now. I was forgiven after death. Well, I guess, I, and I remember at the time. He did a. You remember that? The, um, he, they did like a sixty minutes or something like that, where the guy went to um, Neverland yeah. Hitch, uh, and he was like a, a um, like an English guy or something, and he said to Michael Jackson, his bad whom he had like a. You remember the uh, uh, the, the vegetables called uh, Jolly Green yeah, Giant? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so uh, Michael Jacks had like a huge statue, like a life size, you know, you know, Jolly Green Giant's like an actual giant. So he had like a nine foot, eight foot, whatever fucking uh, Jolly Green Giant in his in his uh, in his bedroom. But the guy was from uh, the UK, so he said he said, and now Michael, what 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 is this? And Michael said, <laughs> silly. That's the Jolly Green Giant. He <laughs> helped kids eat their vegetables. Macaulay Culkin said he ain't do that, though. Yeah. So I was... <laughs> no, hey, look, I don't know what the fuck he did. I wasn't there, uh, but it's hey. Where, it's in his bedroom? Somewhere. Maybe his bedroom or, or something like that, but... Oh, man, the fuck he's having kids eat vegetables in his bedroom well, for? Because... He, he's telling on himself. Because they was at a sleepover party. Come on, it's not. it's no big deal. But look though, on some real shit, yeah. that's the parents' fault. How the fuck you gonna let your parents spend the house, spend the night? Hey, look at, at the house of somebody who ain't because no he's famous. Kid. He uh, uh, maybe he might break me off a couple dollars. Hey, listen, if my kids wanna spend the night over there, look, I'll send my kids to H. Kelly's house if they need to, as long as he's gonna oh, maybe to take care, uh, uh, maybe take care of some of the bills. Some of the bills, yeah, you need that milk money. Hey, listen, hey, I gotta give, give me my breath, you know. Uh, I got to I got to have that. Um, Need that. Yeah. So so okay. So how we got onto that? Listen, listen. I don't want to talk about. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're bringing up Michael Jacks. I don't even remember. <laughs> but let's get off your fascination with Michael Jacks, okay? Because I don't want to get into Michael Jacks jokes and stuff like that. You have any other ones? <laughs> well, I you know I heard some stuff myself, but I don't want to repeat that here. But I guess. Um, uh, why, why Michael Jack's like, uh, uh, 28 year olds? Why? Because there's 20 of them. <laughs> mm, God, are you? It's in poor chase. I don't want to, I don't want to talk, be smart to the guy's character while he's dead. That's not what we're here to talk about, okay? 
Um, okay, so now let's get into your fighting career. Now, now I noticed one one stuff. Even though I, I think of you as a, a light skinned brother and all that, you know, and and we have solidarity uh, uh, in that uh, sense. I got a bunch to pick with you because uh, in your first pro debut, you you was knock out um, a guy named Josh Hasbury. Uh huh. And as a as a man who have the last name of a fruit. I was I was very um, I was upset from that you know uh, laranja as you know is uh, is mean orange I know and uh, you 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 took out one of my my fruit brothers I mean you know I I just signed the contract baby ain't nothing against it What's next Daryl Strawberry you kick him Darryl while he's down you know Nah yeah, he's he's got enough problems of his own he don't need to true exactly to take on take on the MMA he so. don't need you this light skinned guy coming in and knocking the fucking guy out you know some of these some of us uh, fruit fruit uh, brothers you know we need that you know we look up to this guy and then you're checking this guy out you know well uh, then, then just don't fight me then it that's was a, a, a positive fruit brother um you know what's next Barry Gordy. Uh, Barry Sanders. Yeah, come on, my brother. And what else? You got? Who else got a fruit names? Uh, we hit Daryl Strawberry already. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Cause the other one is white guy, Jack Lamon or whatever. Anyway, um, so now, okay, so what's next for you, my brother? I know that you listen. I, I'm gonna forgive you for fighting uh, Leo Machida. Um, I wasn't happy about that. Uh, you know, he won. I understand that, but you was trying to to hurt that guy, and he's a national treasure, or where I come from. Um, and uh, I can't believe your wife was allow you to did that. Hey man, we're trying to get that money. That's the only thing we care about. Well, that's all you care about is money, I guess. But what about? Okay, so what's next for you? What's what's next on the agenda? You preparing for a fight right now? Man, I'm, I'm always uh, in the gym training and whatnot. Um, you know, I live in Birmingham, which is about three hours south of Nashville, and the UFC is going to Nashville uh, later in March. So uh, I'm definitely trying to hop on that card. Oh, they're probably going to bring you in there because, Kara, you, I mean, you're a big name in that, even just from the football, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, I bet a know, lot of uh, fans follow you from football, no? Yeah, but especially when I first started, that's where the vast majority of, of my, you know, fan base was from, was from football for sure. Uh, but now, believe it or not, vast majority. I think it's all, I have more followers, probably twice as many followers in Sao Paulo than any other. Wow. Uh, Why is that? Because of uh, because of that fight? Maybe I don't know. Wow. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I just think that uh, the Brazilians see that. You know, my wife is Brazilian. I'm I'm learning to speak Portuguese. Yeah. They uh, they see that you're trying. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, you know. They see a positive light skinned brother out there trying. Yeah, you know, everybody trying to jump on the on the on the boat. And uh, Eo, Eo De Janeiro is uh, number three. Uh, Sao Paulo, Birmingham, Alabama, and Rio. Oh God! What now? So how do you how do you stay positive in the face of these negative uh, these negative brothers like uh, uh, King Mo and 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 uh, Gene Chalmers trying to like crabs in a barrel was trying to take you down? Oh uh, man, you know I'm bulletproof. You know I don't care what nobody says. Uh, so you don't listen to those brothers when they say all this kind of stuff about you? Nah, I mean I read it and laugh, but you know that's what it is. You know, I, mean, I just keep moving. Okay. Trying well, to do me. At some point, I'm gonna have to have those two, those two brothers on, you know, to to get a heat bottle, and to see what their side of the story is and what the experience was there. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, they, they, like I said, they drew first blood, and you know, yeah. we're gonna yeah. have to figure out something. Yeah, we, we gotta do something about King Mo, especially man. He's the one throwing the most hate. He, he do, but you know. I feel like uh, Gene Chalmers come in there with those, he, he tried to slit your throat. He come in when you're already down, and then he kick you while you're down. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he, uh, he, he's a co-signer. You know, Timo must not got no credit, but he needs a co-signer all the time. <laughs> Uh, that's true, my brother. Oh, King Mo. Well, we're gonna have him on here too one of these days. Um, so now, as we're gonna wrap up this uh, this episode here, just I would just like to uh, hear about uh, growing up. You know, who was the light-skinned uh, individuals in history that that you was look up to that was most inspire you? Who was you pattern yourself after? You know. 
Man, you know, uh, I really never had idols or anything uh, growing up to look up to, to athletes or anything. But the one person that I did, you know, uh, look up to and want to be like was Barry Sanders. Ah, Barry you know? Sanders, yeah. You God, know, I He's, uh, I think he's all the way black, but you know, he's got that light tint to him. So I was yeah. like, man, you know what? He's not as light as me. He's not as fortunate. But, yeah. sure. uh, you know, I like the way that his demeanor, the way he carries himself, the way he works and, you know, plays hard, play after play. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I love Barry Sanders. I mean, to this day, I, I mean, there might be people with better numbers maybe, but, but it's like, I never really seen anything since. That was quite oh, like that fucking guy. Like, you know, he used to carve up the fucking defense. I never seen no shit like that. And also, Barry Sanders had the shittiest team. That's in true, history. too. That's you true, know. too. Yeah. Imagine awful, him. Awful. Imagine him with the fucking line, you know? With the Yeah, imagine if he, you know, had the Cowboys offensive line oh. at, any point, at any point in history. Yeah. You know, there's I mean, no doubt in my mind that he would be the all time lead rusher. I I mean that yeah he he was nothing was like that guy Barry Sanders God are you so no no I'll be sure no Chai Mark uh, from Last Dragon no uh, Bruce Leroy no no El DeBarge no Chico DeBarge yeah you, I mean because for me this was this was people who let me to know that I could believe in myself I could make it oh man but you know the light skin we've always been fortunate man everybody always trying to help the light skin out and, you know give. Life but they're so jealous. Natural. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So man. much of the jealousy was trying to bring us down. Man, you just got to rise and overcome, man. You got to rise above that. That's now, it. now, speaking of you, 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 um, your wife, does she have any sisters? Nah, she ain't got no sisters, but she got friends, though. Oh, okay. So I'm maybe... Put you on game. So maybe, yeah, maybe your friends and meet with my friends and then we can be friends. All right, Something we can like do that. that. We'll set it you up. You know what I'm saying? Next, okay, time, my next time I'm in Los Angeles, we'll, we'll get together. Okay, my brother. And we got to go to, uh, I got to visit you guys in, in Alabama. I uh, ain't nothing out here for you, man. Oh, oh for you? No, huh? <laughs> I mean, all, 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 all the Virginians here are uh, Aries. Uh, <laughs> you know, so. You okay, know. my brother. If, if you're looking for the single Brazilians, ain't too many of them here in Alabama. I, I feel you, my brother. You know, well, anyway. You know where they are, though? In uh, Marietta, Georgia, was just like outside ah. of Atlanta. Yeah, For here? Why? Yeah, Why are they out there? Man, I don't know. There's a huge Brazilian population in Atlanta. Uh, That's strange. I never knew that. Hoppy El Santo trains out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Douglas and Diego Lima. Um, Oh, I like those guys. I like those, those brothers. Yeah, light skinned brothers, they, you know. Yeah, yeah, they, I, yeah. Those guys, light skinned, true. Yeah, tough yeah. guys. I like. I always like those those. Uh, uh, the I, 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 I feel he a little, he a little white, a little too light to be light skinned. So. True, you true. Know, but, he's, uh, he's trying. The Lima brothers. He got that good hair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh God, I, well, I'm look forward to your next fight, no matter what happened in there. And you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to try to. Uh, to um, you know, uh, promote and get you another, you know, get you a good uh, uh, fucking fight or something like that. I'm gonna talk to Dana, Dana White and see if he can do something for you here. Yeah, make it happen. Make it happen. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best. So, anything to tell you uh, to promote or to let anybody know you got any products or fucking vitamins or hair care products you're selling? Oh, it's all natural berries and juices over here, baby. Oh, shit. That ain't nothing but Ultra Pump. <laughs> Just make it nice and neat. <laughs> so okay, well you have been, you know, you have you are you are a biracial angel, as as they say, and uh, I'm sure you know some of my fans is gonna be your fans now, and and vice versa when they hear this one, um, and uh, I uh, I look forward to many more uh, 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 light skin uh, history month that you came, and to make more history uh, with some more Brazilian women, and. Uh, let's hope that we don't have any more children out there that we know about. Uh, yeah, no, especially ones that I don't know about. If I don't know about them, I need to not know about them. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so keep that ones away from me and no DNA tests and no, no, um, no, what's, what's that guy's name? That Jewish guy is a Jerry Springer. Keep, stay the fuck away from that place and you're going to be okay, my brother. All right, all right. Good, solid advice. Okay. So take care of that hair, put on your shower cap or whatever it is you do before you go to sleep, 
and um, and uh, he likes it that you put in there. And uh, you know, take care of yourself, my brother. Okay. Muito obrigado, tio Okay, and tell your wifey, you know, that I'll talk to her later. I don't know, play. I mean, when I see you with them. Oh, okay, okay, I, 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 brother. Okay, my brother. I'll talk to you soon. I'll let you know when that episode gonna came out. Hey, appreciate you. Thank you for having me on. Okay, stay, stay light skin, my brother. Stay black. Always. Okay. Ciao. I want you to subscribe. 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 Hey, I'm not joking about that subscribe, okay?